So today we're going to be making some heron flashers or do dodgers for sabiki fishing uh, for heron with common household materials. First heron flasher we're going to make with our common household material for, for sabiki fishing is going to be with aluminum foil. The second heron flasher that we're going to be making uh, with common household materials is going to be made with a plain old aluminum can. This is a good one because you can craft this one right in the field if you have a pocket knife. And finally, the last heron flash we're going to make today with common household items is going to be with a aluminum pie pan. The tools that we're going to be using to make these household uh, heron flashers with. One thing at home, I would most certainly go with a scissor. You can use a knife. If you're out in the field, and we're going to talk about that briefly, punch really helps. Um, and if you really like to keep things precise, uh, you can make your marks with a ruler, uh, a sharpie. It's the items that you're going to need uh, to to craft these here heron flashers with common household items. So I'm going to start with the tin foil. This is probably the easiest one. Um, it's real simple. Uh, just of course unroll your tin foil. Uh, you got the tear strip, you just use the tear strip. Um, and that's it. Uh, you piece off and uh, just to decide how big you want that heaven flasher to be. Uh, so we'll say make them um, oh about so many inches. And you can see Straighten that out and figure out how wide you want to make them. Oh, so here's my, here's one here. I'm going to make it about yay wide. And you can use anything for this where you can make it maybe a little, little narrower, let's say. So you can put your base in there and just start rolling out. and uh, attach your clip right there, and you're good to go. We're going to be using a clip uh, for her flashes. This is just a standard clip. So we're going to be punching a hole, and so that's how I attach my flasher. So, so I'm just going to show you guys this once, and you just take your flasher, open your clip, and that's how I will attach the flasher. So with the aluminum can, um, I'm going to start this one with a regular knife, and I'm going to finish it off with a scissor. If I was home, I'd just use a scissor, but uh, just uh, all the easy. So basically, all we're going to do is cut off the top and the bottom, and it's a really nice length, too, uh, for a flasher. So I'm just going to be careful, sharp objects, but just punch our hole, and we are going to cut. And I'm not going to make this precise, because if you were we were in the field, uh, your flashes are not going to be precise. So, I'm going to cut, you know, these are not going to be perfect. Then you cut the top. Be careful, don't do what I just did, always cut away. Those edges are going to be sharp. You're going to have sharp edges on the end of your can, so be careful. Um, if when we were in the field, you can add, cut your strips right out, but uh, I'm going to do it easy when we're at home. It's going to be a lot neater to use your scissor. Now 
we got a working sheet of aluminum. And you can make your flashes long or shorter. Uh, we're gonna make, I'm gonna make some smaller, oh, you can make them a couple different sizes. So I'm gonna cut my sheet, probably, I'm gonna make a longer one in the here. Now, if you were in the field, it's actually a little brighter, so you can use either side, this side or that side. This side is a little flashy, so I'm going to use this side of our, our can. This is what I want to show. But just like our foil flasher that we used, what we're going to do is fold this out. And you can actually, if you're at home, you can use a stout object like a ruler to fold it or scissor. Um, if you were going to do this like if we were in the field, we're just going to do it right by hand. And uh, just going to take it, fold it over, and keep in mind, you can make these as neat. You can make these as neat. Like I am doing quick and dirty. homemade heron flashers for a long time, uh, they all work. Uh, I promise you that. They all work just as well as other flashers. Uh, the ones I use are actually, these are uh, the ones I use, and they're actually handcrafted by a, a good friend of mine. I've known him for a good long while. Um, if you're interested about these, leave me a message and I'll tell you how to acquire them. Uh, but this is the one I use. Uh, I've been using these for a good while. Uh, like I said, it's really a fine handcrafted flasher that lasts forever. Um, and, and you can see the shine is just utterly amazing. So uh, I, I generally buy these every now and then, uh, handmade uh, heron flasher. These are the ones I use. But uh, the ones we're going to be making today, I guarantee you, will work just as well. Finally, the last, the third one. And keep in mind, your, your imagination is your only limit. You can, use the, you can use the whole pie pan, even the sides, even the sides here. It'll give you a nice ridgy uh, flasher. Um, you can use the whole bottom. Um, you can straighten out the corners. But I'm going to make mine from just the bottom. So I'm going to start by cutting out that bottom. And you can, you can even use a razor. But like I said, I'm not going to use the pie pan. I'm just making one. Cut out the bottom, cut or you can use a scissor, and that's a great way to sharpen your scissor by cutting foil. So we're doing two things at once here. going to be our work piece. Now, like I said, uh, you can get as crafty as you want, or you can make them rough like me, rough heron flashers, just to get the job done. But to be very precise, uh, you, you can mark off what you're going to 
do, keep in mind you have to roll them. So if you want, you can make your measurements. Keep in mind you're going to be folding the foil over. Uh, I do that to keep the sharp edges. The aluminum foil is going to have sharp edges. So we're going to be folding them. But you can make these as neat or as like I do, as rough as you want. Now you can, you know, precisely cut as many as you want, but I'm going to be making one. So again, decide how big you're going to make them. Uh, probably EA, we're going to stick with about six, five and a half, six inch, five, about five inches, six inches. Um, I eyeball it, so we're going to cut our sheet down about A. So we're just going to cut. You can make your mark. I'll make a mark for you. So if we want our herring flasher to be A wide in here. It's about as big as we can make. It's pretty good. I've been eyeballing things right on. Uh, we're going to cut right inside there. Our ruler, nice straight cut. But these are not going to be nice and straight. Cut the foil. Again, be careful because those edges are sharp. And it's, you can make your first one to determine how many rolls you're going to need. You don't have to do this. You don't have to cut this part off, but I am going to make a nice even edge here. And we're going to do like we did before. We're going to put our sheet down get about the size width flasher we want to use. Uh, you can use anything for this. You can use this, you can use this, you can use a knife, uh, whatever you like. I'm going to use this. Take it and essentially all you do, be careful, those edges are sharp. Again, be careful, those edges are sharp. They'll cut you. Uh, so we're going to take one, two folds, Her out. And we're going to do just like we did with that aluminum can. Um, when I make the cut, I'm not going to make the cut on the outside. I want to make that cut on the inside of the flasher, just right here. But you don't want that. It gets that sharp edge out of the way. So we want that. That's going to be fold it in. And of course, that's our high pan uh, heron flash I made with uh, household cereals. And we're going to finish off, of course, by putting our mark in there. This isn't sharp anymore. Started. You can see it a little bit starting. Heron flashers or dodgers for spooky fishing for herring.